Welcome back to V Channel. Today we will continue the series, Building Automation with N8N. And today we will learn about the next node, that is Google Sheet. Delete data in Sheet. Create Sheet, Delete Sheet. Get data, etc. Then for example, in this case, I want to read the data. Then we will choose Get Row. Then we will click on Create Credential. If you use the cloud version, it's very simple. You just need to click on Sign In. Select Account. Done. Can connect now. Now we click and see the file. In your Google account, there are Google Sheet files, and we will get the data out. Those are the fields we created earlier, but most of developer will not use this cloud because it is too expensive. They use the free self-host via VPS or Flocal host, but is guided ahead. Then login will not be as simple as this. You go through a lot of setup steps, but don't worry. I will also guide you in detail. Okay, I have a local host version below. This is the interface of the local host. It doesn't have sign-in, as simple as we use on cloud. Ha huh, then, now we set it up. First, go to Google Cloud Console. Here it is Google Cloud Console. You click on Console, and now we will click Select a Project. Like the project I created here, let's create a new one. New project, then we name it. For example, I set it as Telegram V Channel. Then we press Create. We will have a new project. In case the project do not use it, T you want to delete. Then you can go here, click on Menu. Admin, setting you press shut down project you need to delete. I have created a Telegram B channel project and is in. This is Richard. Next, we need enable API. Google Sheet Up, similar. You use other Google services like Google Drive, etc. will be similar to this. Here we have Google Sheet. We enable this service. Then, we enable successfully. Next, we will go into. We click Get Started. Then we name the app. Such as that. Support email we choose. To our email. Next then, in the audience section you choose external. Then click next. We also type in our email. Next then I click agree here continue. Create. Then go to audience section. Brothers pull down below. The user test part is very important. Please click on it. Add user then type in our email address. We have to enter this item to grant permission. Save. Then continue. We go data access. You click on add or remove scope. Then we select all here. Update. The next step we will follow. Back to Google Sheets API. Choice user data. You guys choose all the same as before. Update then save and continue. Next, application type you choose web application. Brothers, you can call anything you want. Next step follow below. Hey, we need to enter authorized redirect URL. You need to return to the N8 and interface. Here it is guys. Automatic direct URL, we copy this. Back to Google Cloud Console, we add URL. Paste in. Then we press Create. Now we are given this client ID. We will copy the slide on this ID. Back to n 8 n Paste on client ID here. Here. Then we go back to Google Cloud, we press Done. Then we go to the next step is Credential. We have Authentication Client ID. Have Client Secret here. Then we press save, now we sign in. Then to get to this step is very happy. Now we will press continue. Give access, continue. So success, we have connected to Google Sheet. And you see here, we can access it here. Here it cannot be taken from the list. Then we will take the URL from Google Sheet file, copy. I will paste it. Here it is. Let's add filter. This success, we have all the fields on the Google file we. Ah, oh, thanks guys for watching the clip. Good luck. Remember to subscribe to your YouTube channel to watch the news, technology knowledge, as well as technology product reviews. Goodbye and see you later.